everyone and welcome to the first day of Spookathon. I can hear my cat. Come on in there. Yeah. So yes, it is Monday. It is actually Columbus Day where I am or Indigenous Peoples Day. So I actually have the day off and it is the first day of Spookathon. So I'm starting this vlog. Woo. Actually, my boyfriend is still here right now. We're actually gonna go apple picking to kick off this spookathon. Um, so I'll be vlogging there. But I figured I'd really quickly go over what I have on my TBR because I put up a video of like kind of my full October TBR, but I haven't actually talked about what I'm reading in this readathon. All of these books were talked about in that video though. So I'm currently in the middle of Alice by Christine Henry. I'm like a little under 200 pages into that one and I plan on finishing that today actually and then I have The Troop by Nick Cutter which is a book I also have on audio so I can read it physically or on audio I'm also planning on hello come in hello boyfriend my friend is here. Um, I'm also planning on listening to the audiobook of The Vanishing Stare. I've re-listened to Truly Devious like two weeks ago, like the very beginning of October, and I loved it, so I want to actually, really excited to continue with that reread. Um, and then I also am planning on reading Uzumaki by Junji Ito and Shiver by Junji Ito. I also have Gyo if I really want to add to the stack. Um, but at the moment, those are the books for sure. But I think I'm going to add like one other because these will probably get me through the week. But then I also have like a full weekend next weekend to read. So I'm debating. Oh yeah, all of these have challenges. What were they? It's like red on the cover, a thriller, spooky words, something like that. And the one book I don't have is something that like you wouldn't normally read. So I'm debating trying out Vicious by V.E. Schwab and this is a book I wouldn't normally read because I have hated every single one of her books so far and I'm honestly expecting to DNF this. So I'm wondering if I should just like give this a shot in this vlog and just read the first couple of pages of it. So we might do that. <laughs> I might go for The Compound, which Dylan gave me for my birthday. This, I don't know how spooky it is. Um, I feel like it might be kind of spooky. It's like a dystopian, um, but I would call this like something I wouldn't normally read right now in my life because I'm pretty sure it's pretty young. Uh, young adult or even middle grade which I don't read that much anymore but I'm really excited for this one so that might be on the stack so that's honestly my stack at the moment but um we'll see how that goes I do have I have I think I can do it I really I really don't see any problem with trying to get through all of those this week but um we'll see um so yeah we're gonna go apple picking here's my cute boyfriend with my cute cat oh you're so cute Ben are you a good boy? You love all the cuddles? Thank you. But yeah, so we're gonna go apple picking now to kick off Spookathon. Woo! Really, Can you crush the I can't apple? really get a grip on it. Do That's it. That's the problem. Nah, not really. Do it. Nope. Then you're not as strong as Zhang Ho. I don't really care. Let me try it. It's really dense. It's not like a it's not like a squishy apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you picked like the hardest apple. <sighs> <sighs> nope. That's fine. We can just take it. It's fine. We'll try it with a different apple. <laughs> yeah, definitely you picked the hardest apple I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Find a good specimen to crush. Nah, I'm gonna, this one might be too small. Yeah, that's too small. I I Put it in it. the bag. Put in the bag. <laughs> Find a nice soft one. <laughs> I'm into it. It doesn't feel nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting sprayed. Oopsies. Pick it up. Do it again. No, I don't want to. It hurts my hands. Okay, wait. Let me try with a honey crisp. What's that? <laughs> got juice all over your yeah, glasses. Yeah, I got sprayed. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Like a room temperature apple that is already kind of squishy. That's not impressive. I know, but Jung Ho can do any apple that they hand him, and a watermelon, and a melon. 
didn't rip the watermelon in half, he just punched it. He punched the Get ready. Yeah. Okay, I have no grip strength. Okay. I can feel you making a dent, or I can hear you making kind of a dent in it. <laughs> nope, I got nothing. Okay. This really hurts my fingers. Let's stop doing this. <laughs> that was the whole reason we came apple picking, was to be able to crush apples. <laughs> We got donuts, we got cider, we got apples. All of the necessities of going apple picking. How was your experience apple picking? It was good. Except for a wasp landing on your hand. Yeah, that was pretty terrifying. <laughs> wow, look at my pretty kitty. And then look at that sparkly lake. Oh, you're such a good boy. You look like a little model right now. <laughs> well, I we got home from apple picking a little bit ago and Nico just left because he had to head home because he had work like later this afternoon. Um, and it's like a three hour drive. So <laughs> uh, I'm currently waiting for my parents to come back from a boat ride because I think we're actually taking the boat out of the water today because it's getting cold. And then I need to, I honestly need to just like organize, tidy, do some stuff in my room um, and I need to do an assignment that I've been meaning to do all weekend and I just put it off for way too long. I need to watch a film for class and then write an essay about said film um, but that shouldn't take too long. I'm pretty sure it has the option to like watch it at a faster speed so I'm probably going to do that and write that and then actually get into some reading and this week is actually a little bit weird i'm not gonna lie i hope i'm still able to read a bunch i think i will be able to i don't know why i wouldn't be able to but this week is a little weird just because um it was a holiday today so we didn't have class and then i don't have my night class on wednesday so i'm working during the day which i don't normally do I normally work like 12 to 4 and then have class like 5 to 8. But rather than that, I'm just working during the day so I get like the afternoon evening off. So, I don't know. I, it's just going to be a kind of weird day. It's a little bit off for me. And then Thursday, I have my normal class in the morning. and But I'm also proctoring an exam in the afternoon because my professor asked me to help out. But there's like a solid two hours in between my class and that, so I'm hoping to be able to get some work, either get some homework done so I have more time to read over the weekend, or get some reading done. Also, in the previous clips at the Apple Orchard, if people didn't know what we were talking about with breaking apples, I got into ATs recently, and I told Nico all about the member Jung Ho who can crush apples with his hands, and Nico was very jealous and kept being like, I can do that. So we were trying to crush apples at the apple orchard. If anyone was really confused about that. <laughs> I redid my shelves just a little bit to make it more autumn-y. I only have like two decorations, this candle leaves. But I think it looks pretty cute. What do you think, Ben? Ben, do you like it? Yeah, are you going to attack it? Yeah. You destroyed them when you were a little kitten last year. Do you remember that? <laughs> ben, please do not eat the fake leaves. Please do not eat them. Please do not eat them. Thank you.
I finished my first book, first book of fun. Um, I was like 140 pages into this, so I only had like 150 pages left to read. So I really quickly read it this afternoon, and I really enjoyed this. I really like Christina Henry's writing. I must say, I think this is my least favorite of hers so far. I read this, Lost Boy, and The Girl in Red, and Lost Boy is my favorite, and I like Girl in Red better than this. But this was really really fucking dark like lost boy and a girl in red are, are dark retellings of fairy tales but this one is really fucking dark i will give like trigger warnings for rape abuse murder violence like this deals with some heavy freaking topics um but yeah i did really enjoy it i really like her twist on fairy tales there are a lot of they're just really fucked up and dark and i really like that as an adult but um i'd probably give this like a 3.5 3.75 out of 5 stars so i really really enjoyed it um but yeah i don't know if I'd, i'll continue with this one this like i think there's technically like a book two in this series i don't know if i'll really want to continue that but i am interested in checking out she has a new book about like mermaids um so like i'll definitely keep checking out christina henry i don't know if i'll pick up the next book but like i really enjoyed this first one so yeah that is book one down for the readathon i'll have to double check the different challenges and stuff but um yeah one book down Good morning everyone and welcome to day two of Spookathon. It is currently Tuesday, which means I have work and I have class tonight. But I am planning on listening to my audiobook while I'm at work for The Troop by Nick Cutter, which is I'm so excited for this one. Um I'm not I don't remember how long the audiobook is, but I'm hoping to get through a good chunk of it today so I can finish it tomorrow morning and then also start my other audiobook tomorrow while I'm at work so I don't have too much reading to do during the weekend um but yeah so that is currently today's plan is just work and class and audiobook listening so I will hopefully update you guys at some point during the day but who knows when I'm on campus it's all up in the air <laughs> Hello all, I didn't vlog when I was on campus literally at all, but I listened to my audiobook like all day at work. At work I was honestly just sitting at a desk for most of the day, and then I was obviously in class and I can't vlog in class, but I listened to a ton of my audiobook. I actually could have listened to more, but my headphones died, which sucks, but I need to charge those. But I did get 215 pages into the troop. Ben, are you struggling? I don't know if anyone else's cats do this, but he gets like right underneath the blankets and just snuggles down. Oh, are you a good boy? You like being on the blankies? Do you get cold? Yeah. But yeah, so I read 215 pages in my, actually today was a short shift and tomorrow is my long shift. So I'm really hoping I can finish this in the morning and then start the vanishing stare. Um, yeah, that's going to be my goal. Yeah, I, hello. Hello, what are you doing? Hello, hello, what do you, what's up? What do you want? Thank you. Thank you for sending my book. <laughs> so yeah, that is the plan for it tomorrow, but I'm very happy with the progress I made today. So far, I'm really, really liking this. I don't see, a lot of people are like, oh my god, this is so horrific and disgusting and body horror gore um that they have to like take a break and put the book down and stuff I'm not finding that but i am also like kind of disgusting in the sense of i think most of that stuff is really really cool like the human body um if people didn't know before i was actually in english literature i was in science i was in stem um i did a lot of anatomy and physiology and i've dissected so many fetal pigs <laughs> so many fetal pigs and so many sheep brains and cow eyeballs and stuff and I think that stuff is really really sick so this is not really like disgusting me in the sense of like oh my god I need to put this down um more just like this is really fucking cool <laughs> There's actually one scene where, like, one of the characters is, like, flashing back to when his dog had worms, and he, like, watches his dog, like, poop out the worms and, like, starts, like, poking it and stuff, and, like, that's me. 
<laughs> I just find that kind of stuff so fascinating and I'm actually like weirdly fascinated by parasites so like this book is honestly just really cool to me um so far I'd call this like a four star I really really like the um flashing between kind of like the scientific explanation and everything and like case files and the boys and what's actually happening with them um, I will say I do find it a little bit muddled on like which boy is which sometimes like I feel like I really only know who three of them are and there's five of them or maybe I know four I know Ethan Kent Newt and Shelly I can't even remember the name of the last one Max yeah I genuinely I definitely did not know Max <laughs> but other than that really really enjoying it definitely gonna be at least a four star unless this ending really screws it up so yeah gonna finish this tomorrow so that's all for tonight sorry i didn't vlog while i was on campus i'll try to do better tomorrow it's so cold we actually are like freezing it's like 30 degrees out Oh my god, it's so cold! I'm back at home. I'm making myself some tea and some food back there because it's like almost four o'clock. Very hungry and very sleepy. So tea and food is very necessary. So while I was at work today, I ended up finishing The Troop by Nick Cutter, which I really liked. I give it a four out of five stars. I must just like preface the fact that I didn't find it incredibly scary but I think I mentioned this in yesterday's clip I think parasites and body horror and gore and stuff is just really really cool so I don't I didn't necessarily find it like horrifying and creepy if you think parasites are really creepy and like body horror and like like all of that kind of stuff is really scary you're gonna find this book terrifying because the body horror was awesome but again i just thought it was really cool <laughs> so i'm really not the best judge on how scary this book was i also started listening to the vanishing stare by maureen johnson for my reread um uh, i think i'm actually going to listen to that a little bit more because i have a, an assignment to do really quick before my class tomorrow because i've been putting it off yeah even i procrastinate sometimes it's just this one class i just really don't like this one class so i never do my work for it so i have to do a quick assignment for that so i think i'm going to continue listening to the vanishing stare during that and then um i am going to i think start uzumaki i think that is the one i'm going to go for first just because it's the one i'm the most interested in so I think I'm going to start that one today. If I don't finish it because it is like a 600 or 700 page graphic novel, um, I'll finish it tomorrow. But yeah, that's my plans for today. Eat, drink some tea. I need to run down to the dock and get stuff set up because we're apparently going to be having a huge storm. Um, and then listen to some more audio, do an assignment, and then read Uzumaki. And that's basically my plans for today. Hopefully... I get everything done, but I mean, second book is done for Spookathon, so that's pretty good. We're gonna have a good old study montage because so many people want me to do more study videos, so here's a study montage. Alright, I just finished Uzumaki. Um, 
Wow, this book is a weird one. It's a, it's a very different ride of a book. Um, I, I think it started out really, really strong. And I actually quite liked the ending, but it did lose me a bit in the middle. Because this is... I would call it like episodic little stories about this town that's obsessed with spirals. Like each one is kind of <laughs> hello Bin coming out of the blankets. Um <laughs> Okay, Bin, okay, thank you. Like each one is kind of its own little story, but they all do come together at the end. But I don't know. I just it kinda lost me. In the middle there so I think I'll probably give it like a 3.75 to 4 out of 5 stars I definitely really really liked it and I'm really excited to read more of his stuff but I I don't know yeah the middle definitely lost me a little bit I really really loved the beginning and I really liked the end but the middle was a little bit much um, I love his art style which I already knew from reading his cat manga but yeah Uzumaki done so this is my third book of the readathon right so, that's pretty great. Hey, Ben, he's laying on me now. Thank you. But, yeah, so it is, I want to say it's like 6.30 maybe, 7 o'clock. Um, I'm going to go shower because I need to shower tonight. Um, and I'm going to listen to my audiobook while I'm in the shower. So, probably still won't finish it, but uh, I'm going to listen to it for a little longer. And I'll probably talk to you guys again tomorrow. morning everyone i still haven't done my hair or makeup or anything and the only light is by the window because it's gray as heck out can't see that but whatever today is thursday i have class this morning from 9 40 till like 12 30 then i immediately have to go to a conference and guest speaker and then immediately go to a proctoring an exam for some undergrads. Um, so I am going to be bringing a book to read, but not for Spookathon. I'm gonna be bringing a book to read for class. Um, and then I get home around, I think that ends at like 3, 3.30ish. So I'll probably get home around 4 or 4.30 and hopefully get to read something else. I'm gonna listen to the Vanishing Stair audiobook in my car. Also, we have the first turtleneck of the season. I'm a big turtleneck fan. So we got our first turtleneck of the season very exciting um so yeah that's what's happening today doubt i'm gonna get to vlog very much <laughs> and we're back home today was a very productive day i had class and then a conference and then i proctored in an exam but during that exam I got homework done, I did some reading, and today I've already finished three books. Two of those are for class, one of those is for Spookathon, um, but I finished two plays that I had to read for class. No one cares about those. Um, I also finished my reread of The Vanishing Stair, which I'm not gonna lie, I think I actually liked it more upon reread, maybe because the first time I read it I was really rushing through it because I was like, I just want to know what happens! So I really rushed through it. Um, so I actually think I liked it better on this reread. So I'd probably give it like a 4.25 out of 5 stars if you can hear that. Making food again because it's late. I'm hungry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I loved it. I'm so excited for this third book coming out in January. Ah, oh, I can't wait. So yeah, all of that is done. I think I might like just quickly look over some other homework that I have to do. I don't think I have a ton to do this weekend which is very nice but um I did get to finish an assignment or in two readings I had to do while I was at my proctoring so that was great also while I'm here I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing I know what this is it's a book for class a little annoyed about it <laughs> I got Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson if you guys recognize this I had a copy of this I read it last year I didn't really like it that much. Yeah, that much. I think I gave like a 2.5 or 3 stars. And we have to read it for class. So I had to re-buy it. And my copy I got that I read last year, I got in a thrift store for like a dollar. And I got rid of it because I didn't like it that much. And I had to repurchase it. And thrift books doesn't have it. Amazon Marketplace doesn't have it. So I had to buy it in full for like $12. And I'm Pissed. Like, I hate when old books become huge again because then they're expensive again, and I'm just not about that. I don't have to read this right now. I think I have to read it towards the end of the month. I think I have to read it for, like, the first week of November. But 
there's your little book unboxing. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I think this afternoon I'm going to start reading another Junji Ito. I think I might take a bath. A bath sounds really nice right now. It's very cold, very gray, very dreary. You can't tell by the state of my hair. It's been raining all day. Um, so I feel like a bath would be really nice and just start Shiver, which is a collection of short stories, so I wouldn't have to read all of them. I didn't have to read all of Uzumaki last night, but I just did it. Um, so I feel like I could start and just read a couple of those, and then that should be good for today, and then tomorrow I get to pick out another book to read. So, yeah. Uh, that's all for right now. I'm gonna go eat my food and chillax for a little bit. I'm sitting here with Bien, and I'm doing my bullet journal, and I realize, well, first off, Look how cute my blood journal is. I actually tried to draw and stuff. Oh my gosh. But yeah, um, I realized I hadn't actually talked about the challenges I kept saying I was going to, but I didn't. Um, so I have read a thriller. Vanishing Stare. Done. Book with Red on the cover. The Troop. Done. And wouldn't normally read. I'm saying Uzumaki at the moment just because I guess you could say I don't normally read horror because I am a baby. <laughs> so, um... I put down Uzumaki for that, so that one's also done. Oh, I also did a spooky setting check, which is Alice, which was like, I don't know, it wasn't necessarily a super spooky setting, but like all of, like the troop also has a spooky setting and Uzumaki is a spooky setting, so all of them are kind of spooky. So my last challenge I actually have is the spooky word, which I'm doing shiver. So I'm going to start that one today. But yeah, um, just doing some bullet journaling, got to fill in. A page count for today and yesterday and just mark everything done so yeah we're doing that for right now good times do you guys like my pumpkin worked very hard on him hope you guys like him Alright, so I just got out of the bath and I did end up finishing Shiver. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that I'm not loving Junji Ito as much as I thought I would. I'm still liking it, but I like I thought he was gonna be like my new favorite writer kind of thing. Hey Bian. Cause I did love his cat manga actually. <laughs> I think that's actually been my favorite. That's like one of my new favorite manga of all time. Hey Bian. What's up? Just want some, want some cuddles. Okay, baby boy. Okay, we're just gonna hold my cat like a little baby. But yeah, I I'm also kind of like, am I not as big of a baby as I think I am? Because I started realizing I haven't actually been scared by anything I've read so far that's supposed to be scary. <laughs> um, and I have also been watching tons of horror movies with my boyfriend. I'm not scared by any of them. And I'm kind of like, I've always just thought of myself as like a baby and like I hate horror, but I haven't actually read or watched anything horror like as an adult or even as like an older teenager. So now that I am, I'm kind of like, wow, am I not as terrified of things as I think I am? Cause yeah, these were not scary. I'm just gonna throw it out there. They were weird, but not scary. Like, I still really liked them, and there was a couple that I really enjoyed, but they were definitely just more weird than scary. Let me take you through each one and what I gave it. Okay, so the used record, I did not find um, scary whatsoever. I don't understand how that was a horror thing at all. You are very cute. Thank you. I really don't understand how that was scary at all, so like, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't scary, so maybe like a three star. Shiver would be scary if you're scared of holes, like that hole phobia thing, but for me, was not scary at all. Two stars. Fashion model I thought was dumb, two stars. Hanging blimp was so fucking weird, and just for that fucking weirdness, I gave it, I would probably give it like a four star. Marionette Mansion I just found way too long. It was so long, it wasn't that scary, so I'd give that like a two star. Painter made me really interested for Tomi because we get introduced to the character Tomi. Um, so I'd give that one like a three star. The best one by 
far is the long dream. I would give that a five star. That one, it wasn't scary, but it was like psychological more than like, I guess, paranormal. The other ones are a lot of stuff like that could never happen, so I don't really find that scary. But the long dream is like human psychology, holy shit, like existential crisis, what? <laughs> Do you see what I have to deal with? Just always. <laughs> um, and then there was Honored Ancestor. That was weird. Maybe like a three star. And then Greased was just weird and stupid. I didn't really like it. So maybe like a two star. So overall, I'd probably give this like a three star, I guess. Um, because yeah, the only one I really loved was The Long Dream. Like that one was great. How many yawns are you going to have? That one was really great, but yeah, as a collection as a whole, I guess three stars. Um, I do find it's a lot harder to make me have, like, any sort of emotional response when I'm reading something. Um, like, I just, I don't cry at books, I don't get scared at books, anything like that. Um, so I was hoping that, like, the graphic novel format would, inf uh, like, affect me more like a movie, but it really didn't. It, this really wasn't scary. Maybe it would be more scary as a movie. I don't know. Um, I still love his art style. Amazing art style. And I think he's so creative. And I am holding out, like, hope because he did write the thing that scared me, like, haunted me throughout my, like, young teenage life up until now when I reread it this past summer, The Enigma at Arigata Fault. That remains so freaking creepy to me. So I still am holding out hope. Like, I'm definitely gonna still read the rest of his stuff, even though this and Uzumaki, like, weren't living up to my, my expectations. But yeah, that's what I read for today. Tomorrow I do have some plans. Um, I bought Blake Crouch's new, like, short story on audio, so I think I'm probably gonna read that, but, uh, yeah. That's all for now. I'll update you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. We're over at the window again, because this is where I get the best lighting. Um, so I just realized it's Friday, right? Um, this readathon goes until the 20th which is Sunday. So I have three full days of this readathon left and I've basically read my entire TBR. So um, we're gonna pick out some new books to read. Uh, like I think I mentioned in yesterday's clip, I'm going to uh, listen to Blake Crouch's short story. The audiobook is literally like two hours. Um, I bought it, it was $1.99. I've never seen a audiobook that cheap, but I am going to listen to that this morning because I have to do some chores, I have to clean up the house a little bit, um, but I'm also going to pick out another book to read. So this is my little um, TBR shelf. I am really running out of TBR books, I realized. Um, so I have Gyo, which I think I will read this weekend. This is my last of Junji Ito's that I have. Dylan told me that the Enigma at Arigata Fault is in the back of this one, which I'm so excited about because I kept wondering where that was because all of the short story collections I kept looking at didn't have it. Oh my god, it does have it! That's so exciting! I'm really excited to read this one then because that, again, like I was mentioning, that is the last like thing that really, really scared me. Um, so... Maybe Gyo will pull through and terrify me because Uzumaki and Shiver didn't really. Um, I think this is the one I feel like I hear the least about. So I, I didn't know what it was about until I read the back. It's about like a, um, a seaside town and something that happens. And also the inside pages have this fish that's really scary and they're really scared of it. So I'm assuming something happens with a fish. <laughs> um, and then these are the novels I have on my TBR. I'm debating just doing a first chapter challenge, I think I mentioned this earlier, of Vicious and just trying it out and seeing if I want to get rid of it because it's just been sitting here because I'm like, I don't really want to read it because I think I'm going to DNF it. And I'm very torn. Do I read The Compound, which is by S.A. Bodine and this was given to me by Dylan. It's super short. Like this one, I feel like I could literally read in one sitting if I wanted to. Oh my god, it's literally under 250 pages 
Okay, I think I might read that one. But again, I have three days left of this readathon. I like don't want to run out of things to read um, again. So I feel like maybe I'll read that one in one sitting. And then do I pick up my new book? Oop, that fell. My new book, The Gracier. I don't think this is scary though, um, because I do have The Devotion of Suspect X, but I want to listen to the audiobook of this because it is quite a chunky one. Yeah, this is over 400 pages, so I feel like if I do read The Compound, I can't also read that one. So maybe I'll read The Gracier. Let me see. It's a little over 400 pages, but it is a YA. I think I'm going to put this one on the list. These are our plans. We'll read Gyo at some point when we just want to, like, chillax and read a manga. We'll read The Compound, probably today. And then we'll give Vicious a one chapter try and probably DNF it. If people are like, why do you have Vicious if you're just going to DNF it? I have read and hated every single one of her books so far. But Vicious is everyone's favorite, so Haley had a a physical copy of it when I went and visited her that she was getting rid of so I decided to take it to give it a chance without having to spend money or like request it from my library so that's why I have it. I do very much think I'm going to DNF it though so if I don't I will be very pleasantly surprised but again we'll just give it a chapter and see what happens um, but yeah so I'm gonna go do my chores and listen to that Blake Crouch short story so I'll talk to you guys later. All right, so I just finished my chores and I'm almost done with the audiobook. I didn't work for a full hour, so I think I have like 30 minutes left, so 15 on two times speed, but my throat really hurts and I keep coughing, but I can't eat ice cream. So I'm thinking about going and getting an icy, which I forgot that icies were a thing and in the last like week I've gotten like four. So I might go get another icy. I love Cumberland Farms. Come easy. <laughs> okay, we got rainbow sherbet and an icy. Well, actually, this really isn't an icy because icy is like a brand, right? Comment below what you guys call this because technically, I'm not gonna lie, I actually call it a slush puppy. But everyone always makes fun of me when I say that because they're like, what the fuck is that? In my small town, we used to go to a local place and get slush puppies. Oh, it's so good. It feels so nice on my throat. All right, hand back home. Okay, so I just finished the Blake Crouch audiobook while I was grading. I am almost done with my slush puppy. And now I'm, I'm just gonna start reading for myself. It's so pretty out. I've never actually been here for autumn, but it's so nice out. Can you see all the colors? Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Ayo, it's later. And I finished Compound by S.A. Bourdain. Yo, guys, first up. This is not what I was expecting it to be at all. I said it was like a YA dystopian. It's a post-apocalyptic book, like nuclear apocalypse, but oh my god, not what I was expecting at all. I feel like all of us just assume YA dystopian is like Hunger Games I die right, or Divergent. That's what I was expecting going into this. I was expecting like lots of people. I honestly thought there was like a ton of people down in this like cellar compound thing because of like a nuclear war but it's just the main character and his family 
and it's like this whole thing because they had to like leave behind his twin brother um and honestly this was a little bit spooky like actually on the back they describe it as a horror uh no sorry not a horror a thriller and i do agree with that i was like I was like on the edge of my seat like several times like I could not put this down um it is really really short and I read fast but I still flew through this and just didn't even want to put it down it was actually wicked good I'm really happy I read this so thank you Dylan for giving me this and suggesting it um but yeah it was actually just really good this was like kind of freaking dark for a YA book because like the way it's formatted it almost looks like it should be like a young YA you know like it's pretty big font like almost middle grade font and this deals with some dark shit I was like holy fuck um also how does this have a sequel that's my question it seems like this should not have a sequel but I did end up really enjoying it um I gave it like a four out of five star just because like again I kind of do try to take into the consideration the intended audience and the age range it's supposed to be for and I am too old for this book but guys if I had read this when I was in like middle school early high school would have been like my favorite book um which i think is when dylan read this so i really enjoyed it even as an adult and i'm giving it the credit it deserves as this book so yeah that's another book down i don't think i'm probably gonna read for the rest of the night but um i still have two more days i keep i keep like kind of forgetting that this readathon is i've read so many books already this week like for spookathon but also for school so i'm just like i've read so many <laughs> um but yeah so i'll pick up something else tomorrow good morning everyone it is currently saturday i am sick and exhausted and don't really feel like doing anything today but i need to so i'm gonna tell you guys the plan so first off, I need to finish grading these exams, which will take a little bit. And then today I need to do some reading for school. So I'm going to be reading this, which I finally got the prompts to be able to read this. So this is really quick. It should only take a little bit. It's like poetry and it's like less than 100 pages. So got to do that and write my blog post. And then I have to start two novels for class. Um, Disgraced by J.M. Coetzee and Pride and Prejudice and these they're not like due next week so I'm just gonna start them probably like do a 30 minute timer and just read for 30 minutes and then call it a day and probably do the same tomorrow um, and then after that I will be starting my probably last read for Spookathon which or last novel read for Spookathon because I'm gonna read The Grace here but I do also have Gyo which I'm gonna plan on reading either tonight or tomorrow um but yeah so that's basically what's happening today we sick but we still gonna be productive all right well it's way later now um i've been doing some homework i finished reading nature poem and i started my essay for that as well as i very much barely started pride and prejudice and disgrace by jane kutzi i just i have that thing that like if i don't start a book it's like it's really hard for me to start books don't know why especially for school <laughs> so i did all that really tired um but i think i'm probably gonna take a bath and read the grace here and maybe go tonight because i'm really not in the mood for like youtube right now i don't know i just like don't have very much motivation to do anything sometimes when i'm sick i'm like hell yeah let's like binge watch everything and read everything but i'm like just not not in the mood right now <laughs> So, yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna read something else today, though. Hopefully. Alright, so it is later. I took a bath and I started The Grace Year, which I'm about 70 pages into this one, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm not gonna lie. It reminds me a lot of Only Ever Yours, which I'm pretty sure this is like the tagline is about like the handmaid's tale and lord of the flies but to me this reminds me just more of only ever yours by louise o'neill but that's one of my favorite books so not complaining and then i also literally read the first chapter of gyo and it's so weird so i'm probably gonna read more of this right now 
but yeah um i don't know if i'm actually gonna be able to finish this tomorrow but if not i will finish it in october so you guys can see in my october wrap-up but yeah i did get a good chunk into it at least Good morning everyone, or pff, it's not good morning, it's afternoon, it's 1.15, I've been up since like 8.30, but I didn't start vlogging for today because honestly all I've been doing this morning is watching ATs on Weekly Idol and other YouTube and writing my essay and doing school work and stuff, but I just finished. Um, I think I'm going to sit down and read Pride and Prejudice and Disgrace just for like I'm gonna like set myself an alarm for like 20 minutes or something to read each one and then I'll be done. I'll say I can say I give it a good effort for homework today and then I can do other things because I'm still very sick. I really don't feel well today. I just feel I just keep feeling worse and worse and worse each day. Um, but I, I'm determined to get some reading done for the last day of Spookathon. So yeah, oh, I don't even know if I talked about it. last night. I finished Gyo. It's over there. Ugh, I can't get it. I don't want to get up. I finished Gyo. Um, I really liked it. I would call, I would say Gyo was like a solid like 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was really entertaining. It was interesting. It was so fucking weird. Um, but again, it was not scary. But the bonus story at the end of Gyo, like I think I mentioned earlier, was the uh, Enigma at Ariyama Fault. And that still remains like a 5 out of 5 star freaks me out so bad. So I gave like the thing as a whole a 4 star. Um, but yeah, Gyo, super weird. Was not expecting how fucking weird it was. It's about like fish that can walk. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna go read some of my school books for a little while and then I'm going to read The Grace here again. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it today. I'm gonna try to make a decent chunk through it because spookathon. <coughs> Update. I hate Pride and Prejudice. I hate Jane Austen. I hate the pretentious fucking writing style. I hate it. I don't want to read it. I didn't even try this one. I didn't want to. <laughs> I have realized that I'm like really bored sick. Like that like sick that you're so tired but like you're not tired enough mentally to like just sit in bed and do nothing and nap. But I also don't want to watch YouTube anymore, but I also don't feel like reading, <laughs> but I'm going to, so I'm gonna have like a bit of a pamper day, I think, even though it's like three o'clock, I feel like it's too early for pamper night, but whatever, we're doing it, I have a bath bomb, I have a face mask, and then I'm gonna paint my nails, and we're gonna read in the bath, and that's probably gonna be it for Spookathon, um, I'm gonna take a nice long bath though, because it's only three o'clock, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself until bedtime. So we're going to stretch this out as long as possible. Hello everyone. So it is actually the next day. I really didn't plan this out. I was going to film when it was light out. It's not light out still, but I wanted to wrap up everything that I read for Spookathon. If we are being very technical here, I actually read 12 books <laughs> this past week. Not all of them for Spookathon, quite a few were for school, but I figured I would just wrap up all of the books I read. Um, I'm not going to talk about my school books very much, but I'll mention them. So the first book that I finished this week was Alice by Christina Henry. I really like this. I really like Christina Henry's writing and everything. So, and I give this a 3.75 out of 5 stars. And then I read Uzumaki by Junji Ito, which I had really, really high expectations for. And it did fall a little bit flat for me. I still really, really enjoyed this. I would give it a 3.75 or a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, but it did fall just a little bit flat of my expectations. But I still really enjoyed it. Then I finished The Troop by Nick Cutter, which was an awesome parasitical horror. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one and gave it 4 out of 5 stars. And then for school, I had to finish uh, The Man Eater of Malagudi by Narayan. Didn't really care about this one. I feel kind of bad because this class I just really don't like, so I keep not liking any of the literature we're reading because I just don't care. This was fine. 2.5 out of 5 stars. 
And then I read two plays for a different class. I read Desdemona by Toni Morrison, which I actually really, really enjoyed. This is a Othello sequel, I guess you could call it. Um, and I gave this a four out of five stars. It's so dark. Let me try to turn on a light. Did that make everything way worse? Oh well, we're gonna go with it. And I also read Harlem Duet by Jeanette Sears. Uh, this one lost me. I really don't see how someone could change Othello this much and be considered like an adaptation. I just didn't like it. It was really confusing. And I didn't like it, so two stars. I then read Jun Ito's short story collection, Shiver. This was fine. It is a short story collection though, so I obviously really like some. I really didn't like others. My favorite story in this is The Long Dream. I also listened to The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson, but my mom is currently borrowing it, so I only have Truly Devious here. But I listened to The Vanishing Stare, which was a reread for me. I actually liked it for better than the first time I read it, and I gave it a 4.25 out of 5 stars. I also listened to Blake Crouch's uh, short story Summer Frost, which I really ended up enjoying, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, which is very impressive for such a short story, but it was awesome. I also read The Compound by S.A. Bodine. Really ended up enjoying this. Uh, this was a gift from Dylan. And again, yeah, I was shocked at how much I really liked this. If I would read this when I was a kid, it probably would have been like an all-time favorite book. But I think I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars for now. And then I read the last of my Junji Ito and I read Gyo. Gyo I would give like a 3.5 out of 5 star but the bonus story, the Enigma at Arigama Fault is a 5 out of 5 star so I gave this as a whole a 4 out of 5 stars. And I also had to read Nature Poem by Tommy Pico for school which I really didn't like this and I gave it a 2 star. And I also am halfway through The Gracier by um, Kim Liggett. Like, I'm 200 pages into this. So I still also, I also made a huge chunk through another book. So that is 12 and a half books finished this week. Oh yeah. Oh yes, look at that. Um, so yeah, that's that's everything I read for this week, Spookathon and not Spookathon related. Um, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and definitely tell me how your Spookathon went or your October spooky reading is going. And I love y'all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!